Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Pharmacy Curriculum and today we are going to study about histamine receptors and its mechanism. Before that I will give you small summary of histamine. So histamine is a chemical stored within our body. It is produced by cells known as mast cells. Histamine is a protein molecule with the chemical formula C5H9N3 and it serves as an important part of our body's immune response. When we come in contact with an allergen such as pollen or animal dander, histamine is released by the body to the site of contact. The intention of this response is to help the body deal with the irritation caused by the allergen. The histamine release actually causes allergic symptoms. So the released histamine then will bind with the histamine receptors and will give the response. So there are four types of histamine receptors that is H1, H2, H3 and H4. And the most common type of histamine receptors are H1 and H2. So the H1 receptors are located throughout the body specifically in smooth muscles, on vascular endothelial cells, in the heart and the CNS. And these H1 receptors are G-protein coupled receptors linked to intracellular GQ, G-protein, which activates phospholipase C. And the effect of H1 receptors are bronchoconstriction, vasodilation, separation of endothelial cells, pain and itching, allergic rhinitis, motion sickness and it is used for the treatment of allergies, nausea and sleep disorders. And next is H2 receptors. So these H2 receptors are located in more st specific location in the body mainly in gastric parietal cells. A low level can be found in vascular smooth muscle, neutrophils, CNS, heart and uterus and these are also a G protein coupled receptors linked to intracellular GS and the effect of H2 receptors are increase the release of gastric acid and also causes positive chronotropism and this is used for the treatment of stomach ulcers and the H3 receptors are located or it found in mostly in the CNS with a high level in the thalamus Codate, nucleus and cortex, also a low level detected in small intestine, testis and prostate. They are G-protein coupled receptors possibly linked to intracellular GI G-protein. And the effect of H3 receptors are neural presynaptic receptors may function to release histamine. And it is used for the treatment of sleep disorders. Parkinson's and Tority syndrome and next is H4 receptors they are located widely expressed in components of the immune system such as spleen thymus and leukocytes and they were recently discovered in 2000 the type of receptors are most likely also G protein coupled and the effect of H4 receptors are it mediate mast cell chemotaxis the treatment for H4 receptors are, in addition to benefiting allergic conditions, research in the H4 receptors may lead to the treatment of autoimmune diseases. Next is mechanism of action of histamine. So the histamine receptors are different types that is H1 receptor, H2 receptors and H3 receptors. So this H1 receptors increases calcium level. As a result of increasing calcium level, it will cause smooth muscle contraction, increased capillary permeability, vasodilation, sensory nerve endings, pain and itching. And the H2 receptors also increases the cyclic AMP. As a result, it increases gastric acid secretion, blood vessels, vasodilation, increased capillary permeability. And H3 receptors it will decrease the cyclic AMP, also calcium influx and potassium channel activation occurs. As a result, it decreases the histamine release, his decreases the secretion and causes vasodilation. Thank you.